In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages PowerPoint 78 and 79, in which we're going to be using slideshow commands. After watching this video, you should be able to preview a slideshow, navigate a slideshow, and use slideshow tools. With PowerPoint, slideshow view is used primarily to deliver a presentation to an audience, either over the internet using your computer or through a projector connected to your computer. As you've seen, slideshow view fills your computer screen with the slides of the presentation, showing them one at a time. Once the presentation is in slideshow view, you can draw or annotate on the slides or jump to other slides in the presentation. Now let's take a look on page PowerPoint 78 uh, on the steps. And step one tells us that we want to click on uh, the slideshow button on the status bar and that's the one that looks like a little screen and it gives you the screen tip when you point over it of slideshow. Now of course since we were on slide 3 uh, on there, uh, slide 3 is going to fill the screen first. Then it tells us to press our space bar and when we do that then slide 4 will appear. Now pressing the space bar or clicking the left mouse button is the easiest way to move through a slideshow. Now you can take a look on the bottom of page PowerPoint 79 uh, on table D-2 for other basic slideshow commands. Now you can easily navigate through other slides in the presentation during the, the show. Now uh, using a few of these keyboard commands um, will help you out as well. Now we've already talked about using the space bar or clicking uh, advances you to the next slide, but you can also press your inner key, your page down key, your end key, the down arrow, or the right arrow to move to your next slide. Now, if you have annotated uh, your uh, slideshow, you can press the E to erase the annotated drawing. If you press your home or end key, that's going to move to either the first slide if you press your home key or it moves to the last slide in the PowerPoint presentation if you press your end key. Now if you press your up arrow or page up key or left arrow key that's going to return you to the previous slide in which you were at. If you press your S key on your keyboard that's going to pause the slideshow when you're using automatic timings and then of course you can uh, press it again to continue. If you press the B key on your keyboard, that's going to change the screen to black. So if I would press my B key, it looks like my screen is black. Uh, sometimes you may have to do that if you're kind of wanting to take your um, viewer's attention away from the slide so, or the slideshow and put it back onto you. And also there's also the escape key, which will also stop the slideshow. Now in step two, it tells us that we want to move our mouse pointer. So we have our mouse pointer here. We want to move this to the lower left corner um, of our screen. Now it may be a little bit difficult to see here, um, especially with the background um, pattern that we have. But we do have some buttons here in the lower left hand side. We do have a couple arrows that are there. We have a left and right arrow, and that is to move the slide uh, back one slide or forward one slide. But it tells us here that what we want to do is we want to click the See All Slides button uh, on there. And of course that is this one right here. It's the, thir uh, the fourth button over. So all the way from the left we have the left arrow, the right arrow, then we have a pen tool, and then we have the See All Slides button. So when we click on this, this appears up and it shows us all of our slides and it tells us that we want to click on the slide one thumbnail and when we click on that we see that slide one appears on the screen with the slideshow toolbar displayed which of course that's down at the bottom which now you can see that a little bit easier uh, versus the one that we previous had where it was a little bit more difficult to see you can emphasize points in your presentation by annotating the slides during a slideshow. Now, of course, the slideshow toolbar uh, bar buttons are semi-transparent and blend in with the background color on the slide. So uh, sometimes they may not appear there until you put them in there, or until you move your mouse pointer to the lower left-hand side. Um, or, as we said up with the other one, it may just kind of blend in. So you may need to kind of take a look for those and they may be a little bit difficult to see, but they are there. 
In step three, it tells us that we want to click on the pen and laser pointer tools button. And that is, of course, the third button that is there. We want to click on this button right here. And of course, once we click on that, then we want to go ahead um, and click on the highlighter because, of course, we have a laser pointer, we have a pen, but we want to click on the highlighter. Now, we'll notice that our mouse pointer has changed to this yellow bar, and that is our highlight pointer. Now, you can use this to highlight anywhere on the slide. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drag this highlighter to highlight presented by and then the words your name. So we're just going to click and drag over presented by and then of course your name. And that's in the subtitle text of this object. Once we have those selected on there and have those highlighted, we can then press our escape key. Now once we press our escape key, uh, of course we notice that the two lines of the text are highlighted. And of course, while the annotation tool is visible, mouse clicks do not advance the slideshow. However, you can still move the, uh, to the next slide by pressing the space bar or enter. Now, when you press the escape key, which we did, or pressing the control A while using an annotation pointer, it switches it back to the mouse pointer so that way when you click, it will move to the next slide. Of course, a quick tip as well, you can also use the pen annotation tool to draw lines on the slide as well. Now on step five, it tells us that we want to right click anywhere on the slide. And of course, this brings up a shortcut menu here. And then it tells us that we want to point to the pointer options. Once we have that, we can go down here to the eraser and we're going to click on the eraser. And then, of course, our, our, our pointer turns into an eraser. Then it tells us that we want to click on the Your Name Highlight, which will erase it as well. And, of course, the highlight annotation on that text is erased. Of course, then we can go through and hit our Escape key. And, of course, once again, that Escape key uh, is going to um, turn our mouse pointer back into an arrow so that we can click and move on to the next slide. And of course, that's the beginning part of step six. Continuing on with step six, it tells us that we want to click on the more slide options button. And of course, that's down here in our shortcut uh, button here. And that is with the three dots. When we click on those three dots here, we have more options here. Once we have that, and that is on the slideshow toolbar, we're going to click on the show presenter view. And then of course that is this option right here. And then of course this is our presenter view. Then we're going to click on our pause button right here. And that's going to pause the timer. Now this presenter view is a special view that you use that you typically use when you're showing a presentation through two monitors. One that you see as the presenter and one that your audience sees. Now the current slide appears on the left of your screen, which is the only object your audience sees. The next slide in the presentation appears in the upper right corner of the screen, which is your speaker notes. Of course, we see right here there's no notes uh, that's on there, but if you did have some notes, there would be some there. Uh, of course, it said if you had any appear in the lower right hand corner. The timer that you pause identifies how long this, uh, the slide has been viewed by the audience. So this is a very useful view that's on there. So you can kind of see where are you currently at now, what are your notes, and then where are you going to next. Uh, so this is a very useful view. And then, of course, down here at the bottom, it tells you how many slides you uh, have, where are you currently at in your presentation. So it's a very useful tool. In step seven, it tells us that we want to click on the three dots again. And of course, once again, that is the more slideshow options that's on there. And then, of course, uh, it tells us that we want to click on hide presenter view. Then it tells us that we want to click anywhere to advance to the next slide. Or we can press our arrow here to advance to the next slide. And then on step eight, it tells us to press enter to advance through the entire slideshow until you see a black slide. 
So we're just going to go through the rest of our presentation here until we hit this black slide here. Then once you hit the black slide where it says end of slideshow, click to exit. Your space bar tells us that if there are annotations on your slide, which there should have been one where you had presented by still highlighted, you now have the option of saving them when you click quit the slideshow. Saved annotations appear as drawn objects in normal view. In step nine, we do want to click on discard because we want to discard that annotation. So now the annotation is deleted on slide one, and now slide three will appear in normal view. Of course, a quick tip as well to temporarily hide your slideshow during a slideshow, just right click the screen and point uh, to the screen, and then click on blank screen or, or black screen or white screen. We can also hit your B key as well, and that will turn that to black uh, as well on there. And that concludes the information that's on pages PowerPoint 78 and 79. You're ready to move on to the next video in which we're going to set slide transitions and timing.